Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to another video with 10 out of 10. My name is Mari. So, inspired by Easter, we're going to be doing a paint with me of two scenes. One inspired by the year of St. Joseph and the other one inspired by Easter. Um, so if you guys want to paint with me or you just want to watch and see how it turns out, then grab your supplies, grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and let's get into this. So I'm starting off with mixing a bunch of colors on my palette, um, some yellows, blues, and greens. My supplies will be listed in the description box below. And we're just going to tape down the painting so it doesn't get all wrinkly when we use all the water on it. Just a disclaimer, this is not a tutorial, so don't quote me on anything I'm saying or doing because I'm just guessing when I'm painting this. I'm just trying to have fun, to be honest. So here I'm putting some very light watery blue and using a lot of water to dilute it as well um, to make it a very imperfect cloudy effect. So I'm laying a light layer of color um, for the grass and for the trees and for the sky, the blues and greens. So I kind of know where everything's going to go and I'm not just randomly going to use purple in the sky. I use a mixture of wet on wet and wet on dry techniques for these paintings. Um, I feel like it gives a really good texture. Um, but for the trees, I use darker values when it's wet and then when it dries, going over again with some just very loose strokes for darker colors and variation of the trees. For anyone who doesn't know, this is the St. Joseph Oratory in Montreal, Quebec. Um, it's basically a, a small basilica or national shrine uh, dedicated to St. Joseph. Um, and it was founded by St. Brother Andre, who was also an avid love of humble service for others that St. Joseph also exuded when he was alive. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to visit there myself. I didn't get the chance to, and in the past few years, I've always wanted to go, but unfortunately, we can't really go at this time. But when I was looking at the virtual tours, it looked really beautiful on the inside. Surprisingly modern, though. According to Google, it was made in 1904, but I know that, of course, there have been renovations throughout the years. Um, but I guess I imagined it to look more traditional, uh, like cold concrete style with a lot of stained glass. But the virtual tour showed that it was more modern um, with the way that the shapes and the architecture looks. It's different from what I imagined, I guess. It's still beautiful nonetheless and I would love to hopefully see it someday in person soon and experience the Lord's love through the humble service of St. Joseph. For a lot of this painting, I'm just creating texture with darker variances of color just to create a more realistic image of trees and the shadows and lightness of nature. When painting with watercolors, especially things that are small, I haven't really had much experience in painting structures so I kind of got my perspective a little wrong. Um, I didn't follow the three-point perspective properly and some of the building areas I drew are not in the right perspective but that's okay. The, the thought is there and I will improve it for next time. I'm just using up a mixture of the greens, browns, yellows, and grays to create the shadows and the color of the structure. If you've been to St. Joseph's Oratory, leave a comment down below of what your experience there was like physically, mentally, emotionally. I think it's really cool to just hear people's experiences when they go to sacred grounds especially. Um, because sometimes you learn something about yourself or the Lord speaks to you in a way that you didn't expect to when you go there. Um, so let us know. It's cool to share stories like that in here. And for this last part, I'm just fixing the edges and the textures with some line art. Uh, sometimes I find that if I can't seem to get it to look finished with just paint, line art just saves the day for me. Um, so I'm just using a really thin pen to make textures on the trees and outlining the whole structure of the oratory uh, to get all the areas as close to the picture as possible. Um, and I think it gives for a nice imperfect, perfect 
effect. You know? Cool. So moving on to the second scene that I want to paint, which is the tomb in which Jesus was buried, inspired by Easter, of course. Don't forget to tape down the paper before you start painting after you finish your sketch. As a disclaimer, I struggled a lot, a lot more with this painting than the first one. I've never really painted rocks or stone walls or anything like that before. Um, so trying to figure out how to paint the crevices uh, without having to do like flat washes or anything was a struggle journey for me. It's always good to challenge yourself though in things that you're not comfortable with uh, because you end up learning a lot more that way. Um, so you are going to experience watching me struggle in what I should do next. Um, if I go back and forth between painting the background and doing line art, it's because of that because I'm trying to make sense of the painting but yeah, you should always try to do something that's out of your comfort zone because you'll end up learning a lot more of how to critically think through a situation or how to fix a mistake that you've made. Um, but yeah, tips for me today. I'm just doing basically a bunch of different layers of uh, different shadows and shades of brown and gray for all the rocks to try to create texture again. Um, but doing a, a lot more rougher texture to this to see if that can make for a more natural rock um, If anybody has tips on how to paint rocks, let me know and I just tried to kind of paint all the areas to get a sense of how it's supposed to look with all the colors in As I've said before, sometimes line art can really make the painting actually look like what it's supposed to look like. Uh, so the line art I put in here really did seem to make um, the painting actually cohesive and adding all the textures that are supposed to be there. It does look a lot more cartoony than I intended, but I like the way that it turns out. It's It slowly kind of makes its way into what I wanted it to look like. And I said a prayer in the middle of this that Jesus would inspire me into what he wanted me to paint because a lot of it I couldn't figure out on my own and I sat there staring at it basically. Again, perspective was a little wrecked in this painting, but that's okay, the thought is there. I was inspired to paint this scene specifically because I know a lot of people think about the hill for Easter um, in which Jesus died on the cross but I thought that this scene was more telling of the miracle that actually happened in which Jesus was dead and they put him in a tomb in which he wouldn't have been able to get out on his own because of this huge boulder that they put in front of the entrance um, but I think during the homily that I heard we leave all of our sins inside the darkness of the tomb um, and reach out towards the light of the Lord. And I always think of how Mary Magdalene and all the disciples, their experiences of when they first see Jesus after he rises from the death, they're all speechless um, because it's, it's crazy for a human to be able to do that. But I really like this scene and I think it's a place that people go all the time to visit because it is where Jesus basically conquered death for us.
And here are the final paintings. I really did like the way that it turned out and I did add a few highlights with a white gel pen on both of them. If you decided to paint with me, then I hope your paintings turned out well. And if not, that you just were able to reflect on Easter with me here. And that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching me paint these two scenes. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching. And if you painted along with me, don't forget to tag us on Instagram and show us the finished look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know what videos or ideas you guys want to see from us next in the future. Check out any other videos from 10 out of 10 upcoming this month. And we hope you guys have a wonderful and safe day. Bye!